It's time for Grace's News. Hello, Howie. Thank you for having me. There's a lot of news today. I want to start with some of the decisions the Biden administration is making beyond executive orders. There's just a lot of news about things they're doing. One of them was, do you see what they're doing on the website now, Howie, for the White House? The pronouns. They're having you choose your pronouns. And so first I saw that, again, doesn't really affect me. I don't really care. But then I saw this uh, came out today. Can you be it and it? I mean, you're the one who edits all my papers. So if we're going to go grammar here. I'm just saying, is this like a multiple choice thing? So you could so you could make yourself a neuter. Suppose you're not transgender. You're just neuter gender. Unit. Neutral? Neutral. Neuter. It. It's. Uh, you're reminding me of Bob Parker right now. Get your cat spayed or neutered. 617 says Kerensky wasn't murdered. Yeah, but he was run out. He was run out of the country, wasn't he? But Howie, this is another update that I wanted you to know. Any educational institution that receives federal funding must admit biologically male athletes to women's teams and give them women's scholarships, etc. How How is that advancing the cause of women well that that's the big debate that's happening because a lot of women um including i think the the author of the harry potter series have come out and said listen you're taking away women's experience and and her new book say anyone can be a woman and her new book it wasn't a harry potter book but it would have made the the publishing company millions of dollars it was canceled i believe because of that and you, you know who has no future in democrat party politics now Tulsi no. Gabbard, because she said this is a, this is absurd what's going on. And it's interesting because a lot of these parents and these more centered Democrats who have pretended to be so offended over the last four years by Trump and his tweets. I wonder if their daughters, if they compete in sports or if they're up for scholarships, will they have a problem if men are just allowed to race their daughters and they no longer win and they no longer you know get into the colleges of their choice because they're being replaced by men who identify uh, yeah, as women. I, I feel so sorry for the, this. This started in Connecticut. Remember those uh, those high school girls? Yeah. And, and they were they were beaten out by these guys that were running as girls. And and you know a lot of times colleges, even if it's not like you know top division one or whatever you want, they they give you a scholarship if you're uh, going to be on the on the track and field team, and uh, you can compete even at a even at a lower level of uh, competition, right? But they're right. losing out. They're so, but now these these girls couldn't say they're they were they finished number one or number two in uh, in various competitions in Connecticut because these guys took everything. They lost. They it wasn't just not getting into college. They lost money. They, uh, it's just it's so frustrating. By the way, Grace, I hate to be a stickler for uh, for for reality here, but did you see whose bust uh, Joe Biden put in the uh, in in the Oval Office? <laughs> Well, he, he added a lot of new things. Remind me who the, who the bust was. I, I saw Caesar played- Chavez. Yes, the I head of the United that. Farm Workers Union. Ha- has anyone ever checked out what Caesar Chavez? I believe it's on tape. As a matter of fact, what he said about uh, Mexicans who came over and took agricultural jobs from Mexican Americans and and others in uh, in the California agricultural lands. Well, I'm sure he I'm sure if if the bust is in Joe Biden's office, he was very welcoming to those he, people. No, he he used a word that is now considered a slur, even though there was an operation named with that word when Eisenhower was president. It starts with a W. Now, I'm just thinking if Donald Trump had put a bust in the Oval Office of a guy who described uh, Mexican illegals uh, by the, with the W word. Do you think there would have been an uproar, Grace? Is it po- is it remotely possible that this that he could have been uh, attacked as a white supremacist or a racist? I'll, I'll do you one better, Howie. So someone on Twitter was noticing how all these women yesterday were wearing the color purple, and someone said, you know, and there was meaning behind it. I'm actually not exactly sure what it was. It might have been for domestic abuse. I'm not sure. That sometimes the color purple is associated with that. But a woman on Twitter said, you know that if Trump had done this at his inauguration, what the comments would have been. Yeah, he's a, the purple of royalty. Right. He thinks he's the emperor. He's never going to leave. 
it's just absolutely absurd. But this woman put a great point up when she was talking about this decision that any educational institution uh, that receives federal funding must admit bio- biologically male athletes to women's teams. She wrote beneath it, um, a new glass ceiling was just placed over girls. Oh, I, got another, I got another one, Grace, that not too many people seem to be talking about. Paul Krugman, the yes. Nobel Prize laureate, who's never been right about anything. I right. guess I guess he's the Nobel Prize laureate for getting everything wrong. Did you see what he did yesterday? No, what did he do? They were playing uh, God Bless America, My Country Tis of Thee. Yes. And so he tweeted out, what the hell's going on? Why are they playing God Save the King? Oh, Lord. It has this. It has the same melody, right? Oh, my gosh. And, but he, he's an American. You know, he, he's not, he, he was born here, unlike uh, David Brooks or, uh, or, or Max Boot. I mean, he should, he should know it's God Bless America here, not God Save the King or God Save the Queen. That's a sign that you're watching too much PBS. Seriously. <laughs> Turn off the Downton. PBS or BBC. And I, and, and I don't think the BBC plays God Save the Queen too often, do they, Taylor? Am I known to watch the BBC? <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> I, I just I find it so funny that these reporters, they get so ahead of their skis like yesterday and they embarrass themselves. Some of them had to deactivate their accounts because they wrote such embarrassing things during the inauguration. It's like maybe just take a deep breath and think about it before you start tweeting. Oh, this takes my breath away. I have chills. I can't breathe. Yeah, Lauren, that's Lauren Wolf. Uh, you know, one of these people I never heard of, but apparently she's a big shot at the New York Times. And uh, she she said she was getting chills, uh, chills. She didn't say where the chills were coming from from though grace i mean at at least chris matthews gave us a uh gave us something that the doctors could diagnose the thrill was coming up his leg and and how you said this yesterday during your show but i think you really nailed it no one is hurting more during all this excitement than chris matthews (laughs) you know it's it's like seeing people throw a birthday party and you not being invited this was supposed to be his time to shine 919 said, is the W word? Yes, 919. That's the W word that you thought it was. Yes. And, it's, can, and again, oh, I want to see, I, how, it, will anyone in the mainstream media mention this? That what Cesar Chavez said about the people that Joe Biden is welcoming with open arms, even though they don't have any jobs, they don't have any skills. They're going to test positive, though, for COVID-19, a very high percentage of them. Will anyone mention that? Um, should I quote your teacher, Howie? Pardon me while I laugh in your face. (laughs) Yes. I just find it very emblematic of the whole Democrat problem because Joe Biden comes into office and the first thing he does is shut down the Keystone Pipeline, thereby killing all of these jobs. And it's really they're really good at shutting things down and mandating things and, and canceling people. And they're not good at creating jobs and creating opportunity. And the only thing they're creating now is more issues because they're going to let all these people come in through the border. And it's wouldn't on your first day, how you wouldn't you say, let's hold off on shutting anything down. Let's let's take a minute here and, and see what we got. But nope, he starts signing everything and it, it, it had Trump's signature on it. It had to go. Exactly. Uh, Howie, can I take a minute here uh, before I leave to tell a story that would usually make it into Police Water Facts Friday, but I'm feeling I, I don't want to wait on it. It's too good. Before I get to this, though, Grace's News is brought to you by Toyota of Portsmouth, the house of value. Everyone knows I love my Toyota. I love my RAV4 XLE. It's beautiful. I have the beautiful sunroof, and it's just gorgeous. And they have a huge, sparkling, clean showroom and an incredible staff. They're so nice. Make sure you check them out. Tell them that I sent you. They're located just south of the Portsmouth traffic circle off 95. Go to toyotaofportsmouth.com or visit them at the showroom and tell them I sent you. They're all really nice there, and they'll really help you out. Feds bust monkey whisperer. Monkey whisperer? Yeah, I never heard of such a thing. For allegedly selling endangered primates. The feds aren't monkeying around with this guy. A Florida man who calls himself the monkey whisperer has been charged with conspiracy and trafficking for allegedly shipping primates, including endangered species, to clients all over the country. Oh, I can't wait for this Netflix documentary series. <laughs> it's like the follow Tiger up to King Tiger King. And monkey whisperer. Oh, by the way, just a side note, Tiger King was super mad. And so were his lawyers that Trump didn't let him out. He said he. You know who had a, You know who who liked it though. The guy that was in the limo. He was just sitting there all day outside the just, prison, waiting to pick up the, the tight Dodge right? Ram limo. <laughs> <laughs> the meter's running. 
Yeah, Carol Baskin was happy too. She said that he should not be let out of prison. Uh, so this guy, the Monkey Whisperer, Jimmy Wayne Hammonds and his company, the Monkey Whisperer LLC, are accused in a federal indictment of sending a capuchin, 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 capuchin yeah. monkey to a customer in California and endangered cotton top tamarinds to clients in Alabama, South Carolina, and Wisconsin. One woman actually had to send one of them back. And he and when she sent them back, I think he was he knew that the people were onto him. He was trying to convince his clients not to tell them. I never I never have thought to myself, from. you know, I'd love to have a monkey. You know, I thought I, I it kind of be cool to have a parrot or one of those colorful birds. But a monkey, I, I don't need a monkey. Back in the day, I guess you could order them through like any catalog. Right. Howie, I I think they were easy to get. I don't know if you could get them through like a catalog. The, no, there were there were there were advertisements in the back of comic books. You can order I your own love, monkey. Uh, I love how Howie's like our historian, right, Howie? Yeah. <laughs> six oh three says six oh three says about the monkeys. The monkey whisperer stories is bananas. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Thanks, Howie. Yeah, uh, and uh, by the way, everyone, make sure you check out fallensbein.com. I'll be there February nineteenth, so make sure you sign up. Have a good one. Listen up. This is the best deal you're going to be offered all week. Have you been thinking about buying one of the Eden Pure Gen 30 space heaters or the Thunderstorm air purifier, which I'm holding up and McKay's holding up the uh, the Gen 30 space heater? Well, until Friday, you don't have to buy one or the other. You can get both. With code word Thunder, you will get a free thunderstorm when you purchase the Gen 30 space heater. Home heating bills are about to start skyrocketing. You saw what happened to the Keystone XL pipeline, potentially costing you hundreds of dollars a month. Eden Pure Gen 30 heater will save you up to $50 on your heating bill. The Eden Pure Gen 30 Classic Infrared Heater uses state-of-the-art infrared heat to warm you to the core. It's even been proven to keep you warmer than your furnace and save you money on your heating bills every month. I use both of these in my basement, Howie, when I'm chilling down there or working out whatever I'm doing. It's nice. It keeps everything warm. And of course, if you get a basement smell, you don't have it with a thunderstorm air purifier. So you're doing whatever you're doing down there in comfort and knowing that the air around you is absolutely clean and odor free. This is a great two for one deal. The Gen 30 heater doesn't dry out the air in your room. This helps prevent dry skin. Also, if you have pets or young kids around, you don't need to worry about the heater catching on fire. Go to EdenPure.com and put in code word THUNDER. That's nearly $100 savings, and shipping is free, too. Buy the Eden Pure 30, and with code word THUNDER, you get a free thunderstorm air purifier. EdenPure.com. You'll never be cold again, and you'll never smell that odor again. EdenPure.com, code word THUNDER. I'm Howie Carr. Keep it here. The captain will be back after this. This hour of the Howie Car Show is brought to you in part by Defensive Strategies in Manchester, New Hampshire. Defensive Strategies is the premier firearms training company in southern New Hampshire with more than 100 classes from beginner to instructor level. Come to where the trainers train. Visit DefensiveStrategies.org. 